to recognize the family of Jeff Clackett. Dear County Commission, due to my daddy's unexpected passing as his daughter, I stand before you today to be his voice. Dad has always been a leader and voice for not only his office and employees, but for many, if not all of the other offices he worked so closely with. He always stood for doing what was right, even if it went against the grain. Dad, I know, would want someone in his office to continue his position until the next election is at hand. Daddy strongly believed in the voice of the people. He has been an invaluable asset to the assessor's office and to the community of Hawkins County. He had completely devoted himself to the duties of that office, and he was elected by the people not once but three times. He loved what he did, and he loved serving people. He definitely possessed a servant's heart, which was so evident in his everyday life. He was fair and honest, and he loved each and every one of his employees. They were family to him, and he took care of them. Right now is not the time to bring in an untrained outsider to continue this position. We would lose valuable time training an outside member and valuable time we do not have right now with the pressing reappraisal. Like myself, his employees are still grieving his loss. They need each other to heal and move on with the void he has left. I know how hard it is for them at this time to continue working each and every day. They were a family, and an outsider would only add unwanted stresses to their everyday duties. With the current reappraisal upon us, the only option is to appoint someone internally to leave. David has over 30 plus years experience and he has worked with numerous different assessors during his tenure. Dad highly respected his knowledge and wisdom and his knowledge and experiences are superior to anyone outside of the office. The people of Hawkins County deserve someone with this knowledge and expertise and someone can ensure that the reappraisal is done completely, fairly, and accurately. The revenue that this brings to the county is vital to its existence. I implore you to honor my daddy and appoint David Pearson to his position unanimously. During this time, you owe it to the employees and constituents to listen to their concerns and requests. Although I feel dad's legacy and leadership is irreplaceable, I know David has the skills and knowledge to complete the reappraisal and lead the employees during this tragic time. Please honor my daddy's legacy in memory and do what is right for the citizens of Hawkins County. Bless you. And whereas David Pearson is currently filling the position of internal assessor of property by request of the State of Tennessee Division of Property Assessment, therefore being resolved that David Pearson be appointed to fill the vacancy of the assessor of property of Hopkins County until the next general election in August 2022. I so move. Mr. Reed. We're going to take nominations. You have nomination. I don't recognize Chuck Smith. Are you nominated Chuck to recognize? Just recognize. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Reeves. Um, uh, that's tough to follow. <laughs> I have to admit, um, I knew Jeff very well myself. Uh, he was a customer of mine, actually, in the premium. But, with that said, I am here tonight. My name is Chuck Smith. I'm a lifelong citizen of Hopkins County. I've lived here all 48 years of my life. I've served um, a lot of Hopkins County members and a lot of out-of-state members throughout my tenure as a business owner here, 25 years. In addition to that, I serve, or have served, or am serving, excuse me, uh, 17 years currently with United Parcel Service. I have a lot of other duties there as well. Um, so, with business experience, um, business knowledge, uh, employees, dealing with day-to-day -day situations with um, employees and contracts and state guidelines and so on and so forth uh, throughout my years of doing business here, I um, have come tonight to let you know who I am, what I'm looking for, and would appreciate your consideration within this seat. Um, if not now, then perhaps later in the future. Okay, thank you. Is there any other nominations? Mr. Collins, would you recognize me, please? 
Yeah, I'm recognizing you. You're recognizing me? Thank you. <laughs> you got three minutes. Again, are you not like her recognizing me? I'm just recognizing I'm recognizing I just made sure before we get into this book. Right, I spoke with Mr. Collins. I was assuming Mr. Collins was going to call me up. <laughs> uh, my name is Tanya Katzen. Um, I have sent um, to all the emails um, I had for today, and I made a few phone calls last week. I sent my resume over to you. I would actually also like to be considered for the property assessor position. While I understand his, his family's commitment, I didn't work with, with Jeff, so I didn't know him other than in passing and talking with each other um, uh, in a business relationship. Um, I have over 20 years of experience in um, management and real estate, including 20 years in the regulatory compliance division, um, working with US government, federal, state, and local ordinances um, regarding housing. I have created budgets, I have um, processed assessments, I have uh, processed appraisals, not on uh, assessor um, duties per se for a, on a state level. I've handled appeals, complaints, I've managed staff of 10. I have spent um, many years educating myself, learning softwares, and I understand that it was a concern of the person who works in the office currently, that it would take time away from the current process and that it would take six months to a year to learn the software required. Now, I'm not exactly familiar with all of the specific software, but every industry and developers I've worked with have had their own software, their own things. And if it takes a year to learn the software, there's a problem in, right, in that to begin with. It takes a year to learn the software. Um, I think that it's actually a great time to bring in uh, somebody new to replace Jeff. Obviously, we have to. Um, but it actually, it's a great time to learn by watching. The current employee stated he's done this several times um, alone, and I count on uh, Jeff that he had a really good staff working for him, somebody that he depended on. And I think that it's something that you want to consider to bring in leadership and management, um, because you're gonna need that over the next year and a half. Um, I have grant application, basic experience. I solve problems, I'm very self-motivated. I will um, <coughs> commend myself to educating myself for the position and beyond. And I would like to ask for your vote, and I would appreciate it. I'd like to let David Pearson speak since everybody else has spoken. So. My name is David Pearson, and I've worked in the property sector's office for almost 34 years uh, under several different assessors. Uh, one thing before I say anything else about myself, I want to talk to y'all about time. Uh, you know, we all have our families at home. Uh, that, that, that type of family. But we also have a work family. And I really appreciate my work family for being here and supporting me uh, in this. It's not something that I really uh, would, had ever thought about doing, uh, being the property inspection. And uh, so we need to uh, keep that in mind that if was well liked, he knew everybody in the whole county, everybody liked him. The last election, he had no opposition. And over my years with the assessor's office, I believe that's the first time that I've ever seen an assessor run with no opposition. So that tells you what kind of job he was doing. He treated everybody fairly. Um, and one thing about appraisal work, it's not a true hard science. It's a lot of, of uh, uh, negotiation. It's a lot of uh, more than just uh, appraisal knowledge. You have to be able to, to communicate with people. You have to be able to understand their concerns and see their point of view sometimes. And we, we as the office have always been able to do that. Uh, I just want to continue that in the future. Uh, work with the same people we've been working with. Uh, finish this reappraisal, uh, do a good job with the reappraisal, and then continue to work for the people of Hawkins County. Uh, that's really all I have to say. I appreciate y'all's uh, support. Thank you. 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 Thank uh, can we do a voice vote? Yes, yeah. sir. Be just a All second. in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Okay. 
Nomination seats. Do I hear a motion that we, I guess we can elect by acclamation or mm -hmm. unanimous? Well, one candidate. One candidate. Hey, you can by acclamation. Do I hear a motion that we I'm elect David by acclamation by majority vote? I'll make that motion. I'll say that. Who made the motion, so, please? Put it on the board, please. Corral. We can't do it on the board because we because it's out of oh, order. Okay. Out of all right, all right. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, in the so, next uh, motion was by Commissioner yeah. Harrell yes, and his second. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'd just like to say for the record that I was under the assumption that when when you were brought up tonight that you were actually being offered up for the position. So I just wanted to put that on the record that I wasn't just here talking about it. That I was under the assumption after speaking with Mr. Klontz that he would put my name forward. So I need that out for the record. I'm sure you thought you were here for that as well. Unless you just thought you were just talking for the heck of it. So. We have a motion on the floor. Let's, let's uh, you know, keep it moving. I'm, you know, uh, you we have to do a voice vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We have 20. Yes. Congratulations, Dave. Thanks, Mary. Uh, Mr. Pearson, sure can. Come on up, Mr. Davis. Raise your right hand. State your name. David Kevin Pearson. Assessor of property for the County of Hawkins, State of Tennessee, do solemnly swear that I will appraise, classify, and assess all taxable property for the County of Hawkins according to the Constitution of Tennessee and the laws of the state that I will truly report all persons who fail or refuse to list their taxable property or who have, to my knowledge, returned a fraudulent list and that I will faithfully, impartially, and honestly discharge my duties as assessor of property according to law to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favor, or affection. I do solemnly swear that I will perform with fidelity the duties of the office to which I have been elected and for which I am about to assume and to support the Constitution of Tennessee in the United States, so that we got. Thank you. 